Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be explaining all of the driver types that most of your phones have in today's market. So yeah, let's start off with the balanced armature driver. Basically, this has a diaphragm on both sides. And then the coil here is linked up. And then as soon as the power comes in, the reeds vibrate to produce sound. So yeah, this is the most simple driver. A lot of your phones have it. And yeah, basically, an earphone could have one of these, four of these, or 16 of these. It could cost anywhere from five to 50 bucks per piece. And depending on how well they're executed or if they're full range or the quality of them, it could get pr more expensive. So a lot of expensive pairs do have better quality drivers. So yeah, that is something to notice. And some of the benefits of a balanced armature is it has great clarity and accuracy. It has good body in the treble. And some of the downsides are it has BA timbre. So a lot of cheaper pairs have BA timbre, but once you get to the more expensive pairs, a lot of that is gone basically. So you're not gonna have that issue. So yeah, that's a balanced armature. Uh, it could cost 5 to 50 bucks a piece, depending on the quality. And then the dynamic driver, basically it has a diaphragm that's circular and then a voice coil. So the voice coil takes care of the mid-range and the diaphragm takes care of the bass, basically. And then there's a magnet that makes the diaphragm vibrate. So basically for a dynamic driver, it is hard to control the movement of the driver. So it's really, really hard to tune it. So dynamic drivers are some of the toughest things to tune. And they could cost anywhere from 10 to 100 bucks. And this type of driver, you don't get a good dynamic driver until you spend a lot of money. So yeah, those are the things I noticed about dynamic drivers. And now let's talk about planar magnetic drivers. So planar magnetic drivers basically have one diaphragm and then as soon as the power comes in the diaphragm vibrates to produce sound and some of the benefits of it is it's really really quick sounding, excellent speed and accuracy, good for all frequencies and the downfall is it could sound a little thin and the price point on these is unknown, there's just not enough information especially for IEMs because there's not many of them. So yeah, that's a planar magnetic driver. Really, really hard to control and tune properly. So yeah, that's one thing to take into consideration because it does take effort to do these things. And then the newest addition would be the Sonyan electrostatic driver. So basically this has a huge diaphragm that's like weightless basically. And as soon as it's powered up, it just produces sound. Uh, so the benefits of it is it's really effortless sound. It sounds very airy. It does lack a body compared to BA. And you do get like a wispy noise off of it. So yeah, these do cost a lot of money to produce. Um, it could cost about 50 to 100 bucks per pair. So yeah, these are some things to take into consideration. Uh, and whether you're getting your money's worth or not. So yeah, basically, the best driver available right now overall, in my opinion, is probably Balanced Armature, because it's been around for a while, and it does a lot of things right. And then Planar Magnetics, like the Timeless, are catching up. So yeah, basically, the Sony on Electrostatic, it's something like the Variations, so that's why it costs... A good amount of money because they do it does take a lot of money to produce these things and then a dynamic driver would be like the er2 se pretty popular and then planar magnetics like i said there's not enough information so the timeless is probably one of the best ones out and then a single balanced armature would be like the er4 sr so when you have a single balanced armature normally it only costs like I would say 10 to 20 bucks around there to produce. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. I just wanted to spread those things because a lot of people don't know 
what goes into some of these items. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful and have a good one, guys.